In this video, I'm going to show you the setup if you would like to connect your V300 Pro Live sound card to a laptop. And in this setup, I will be doing a Facebook live streaming and of course with the use of a condenser microphone. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let's do the connections. First, let's uh, connect the XLR cable to this condenser microphone. Of course, uh, this end goes here, and then the other end, there should be a uh, port here for the condenser microphone, which is just over here. So let's connect that. And now I will be using an earphone, or if you have a headset or headphone, you can use it as well. The earphone port is just uh, down here. For example, if you're going to use a, a headset or an earphone that has a built-in microphone and if you do not want to use that built-in microphone, I suggest connect it to the one that says earphone. But if you are going to use the condenser microphone as well as the built-in microphone of that earphone, then connect it to the one that says headset. Uh, because in this setup, I will only be using this uh, condenser microphone so that uh, there is no other audio. In other words, the audio will be uh, more cleaner. Then I will uh, connect it to the one that says earphone only. Now let's uh, connect the next one. So let's connect this one here. So this is the uh, USB type C to USB type A. This normally comes when you buy a V300 Pro live sound card. So simply connect the type C to here. Okay, of course the one that says computer and charge. So connect that one over there, make sure it's properly connected. And then the other end, just locate the USB port of your laptop. Then that's where you're gonna connect it. So it looks like it's over here. There you go. For now, we will connect uh, this uh, background music. So we'll be using uh, this iPad as a source of our background music other than from here, from the laptops. But I will be showing you also background music from the laptop and then background music from this iPad. So first, let's connect this one using this cord. So again, this is 3.5 mm TRRS on both ends and this is also comes when you buy this V300 Pro Live sound card. It comes with two of them. So this one and that one. So simply connect it to the one that says a company. So the one right there. And then the other end we will connect it to the headphone port of this iPad or whatever you have. Let's say you have you have another device, uh, it could be an Android phone or a tablet, then connect it to the one that's uh, for the headphone port for the other end. Okay, so again, we will not be using this one because uh, we will be doing the live streaming only uh, from this laptop in this uh, video. And now we're almost ready to go live. So first, uh, let's turn on this uh, V300 Pro live sound card. Okay, so I suggest once you turn this on, go to your settings in your laptop. So you can even type in sounds on here and it should uh, show up right there. So just open it and there it is. Just make sure your output and input uh, are both uh, set to V300 Pro sound card. As you can see here, our uh, speaker and our microphone are both uh, set to V300 Pro. For some of the laptop, uh, it doesn't detect automatically, so you have to set it. So now that they're both set to, to uh, uh, this uh, sound card, we can X out from here. Okay, and of course we go to, uh, we open, we have to open our account. Okay. Okay, there it is. So I had opened already my account and then I'm just gonna go uh, here. So I'm going to select go live from here. Okay, and if you want to uh, add some title, then feel free to add some title on there. So I'm just gonna enter testing. From here, I'm going to select webcam. What I notice is that uh, sometimes if you do your setup right away and you thought there is the effects coming out from your live streaming and there is nothing as if you're talking with a raw voice and without any effects coming from this one. So if that happens, uh, I suggest just to uh, end your streaming and then restart again and there should be uh, effects already on the next time. Now I'm going to go live. Okay, there it is.
Okay, there you go. I am now on live. And by the way, what I will be doing, same as, as I always do, I am going to uh, sync the audio output from this streaming to the video from the other camera I'm using. So that while you're watching this video, you can hear the actual audio output from the live streaming. And by the way, for your cords here, make sure they are plugged in properly. Okay, now, as to the settings on this uh, V300 Live sound card, just so you know, the the mic volume here is uh, just over here, so it's pretty uh, self-explanatory, mic minus, mic plus. So if you want it louder, uh, just uh, tap uh, mic plus. Maybe you can actually select what level you're at. So whenever you, although it, as you can see, it is blinking all the time. So when you press this one, it will tell you uh, what level you're at. So let's say, for example, if I'm going to uh, top the mic minus, so it says I am at uh, uh, third level. If I'm going to top mic plus, there it shows I am at uh, fourth level. Okay, and uh, for the treble, so same, it's a uh, treble plus and minus. Okay, let's check. Okay, that is uh, the fifth level. Okay, maybe let's just set it to the fourth one. So same as the bass, uh, minus and plus. So let's see where we're at. Okay, it looks like a number two or second one. Maybe let's set it to the third level. There you go. Okay, and uh, now for the uh, for the uh, this uh, knob on here. So this is uh, most uh, likely for the hall or for doing karaoke songs. So right now, my microphone or my vocals is set to original. So which means. Uh, it's uh, it's flat, no reverb, no no echo. So even if you turn the reverberation, because this is the reverberation, so even if uh, you turn this to to the right, uh, there won't be reverberation and on it. So now if we're going to change uh, this uh, the mode, so to change it to hall electro and MC, uh, you just tap the mode here. So if we're going to change this to the hall, so now the settings is the hall settings. So again, hall settings most likely for uh, singing and if you want to, to use it for whatever purpose. Um, but again, most likely is for singing. So now if it's for a hall uh, setting, uh, it's up to you if you want to add uh, more uh, reverberation and that's going to be the output. And if you do not want lo lots of reverberation, then just uh, simply turn it to the left. So something like that. And again, if you want to, let's say, do a podcasting or more on talking, you can also use the hall, but it's up to you if you want to put a little bit or add a little bit of reverberation. But again, if you want to have a flat voice with no reverberation, no echo, then set it to original. And you can also set to MC. So let's go to MC. So MC sounds like that. And if you want, it's like echoey sound. So if you want a more uh, echoey sound, then it goes, uh, it sounds like that. And if you do not want a more like echoey sound, then it sounds like that. So there you go. Sound check. This is MC uh, settings right now. And uh, for the electro, electro is uh, more for uh, uh, like a style on singing. So let's say, for example, uh, on here, by the way, this knob, as you turn this uh, like that, the tone of your voice uh, changes. Anyway, there are these uh, keys on here and it tells you. Okay, sound check, testing one, two. Sound check, testing one, two. Sound check testing one, two. There you go. So it does change uh, whenever you uh, turn this uh, to the left or right. So again, it gives you it gives you the tone of your voice, uh, most likely for singing purposes. But if you want to use it for other purpose, it's all up to you. And uh, now for uh, this, uh, uh, for the vocal out on here. So that is if you just uh, if you're going to play any music that has vocals and then you want to remove the vocals but uh, it's not really removing the vocals 100% um, it depends on how the uh, how the song or the that uh, music is uploaded so uh, for some it is uh, it is uh, the output is good but for most of them uh, the output is not that great so i su always suggest use this one uh, like as your last resort only if you have the karaoke available then do the karaoke because it has a better uh, sound okay now for the dutch dutch is uh, same as other uh, sound card it, the 
background music will go up if you stop talking but when you talk the volume of your background music will go down okay let's uh, give it a sample so now uh, as i showed you earlier this background music here is connected to here using this uh, chord okay let's play this one let's check first how loud it is Okay, there it is. So I think that should be good. And by the way, to control your uh, background music from this uh, iPad on here, so you can control it from here. And just so you know, if you are going to control it from here, this also affects your uh, uh, the volume of your microphone. So uh, I suggest just control the background music from the source. Okay, let's... Uh, uh, let's do let's do a sample for the Dutch on here. So let's play this one. Okay, and let me turn on this one now. Okay, now that it's turned on, now that I'm talking, as you notice, you could hardly hear the background music. But if I'm going to stop talking, okay, there you go. So that is the use of that uh, Dutch uh, button on here. Let's uh, turn it off now. There you go. Okay, and now for the peach band on here, so same as other sound cards, it changes your voice. So for entertainment, you can use this one for sure. So there you go, sound, sound check. And then the next one. And then the next one. And, and then the next one. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's go back to our original voice. Okay, and of course, uh, for this uh, preset sound effects on here, feel free to use them also if you want to use them. Okay, there you go. And there's one thing here that I would like to emphasize. If you are going to uh, change the monitor volume on here, as I mentioned earlier, it does change also your audio output, even from for your live streaming. Okay, let's change the uh, volume here, the monitor volume to... Let's say it tells you here what level you're at. Okay, so now we are at, okay, number two. So the volume here is number two. So as you notice, my volume output also from my live streaming goes down. And if I'm going to uh, tap some of the preset sound effects on here, will go down as well. Okay, let's uh, st uh, try crow and slap and laughter. Okay, so this time let's uh, change or let's turn the volume, monitor volume up maybe up to number four okay this is now number four okay there you go so as you notice my vocals or my audio output is a little bit louder and if we're going to try the preset sound effects on here it will be louder as well okay let's try crow again there you go and slap and laughter so there you go so again this affects your uh, audio output from your streaming as well as uh, from this uh, preset sound effects on here Okay, and now let's uh, do a sample. If, for example, you wanted to uh, do a karaoke, you want to go live and you want to sing. So let's uh, do a sample. I've prepared a uh, song here. Okay, there you go. First, let's uh, use uh, the background music from this uh, laptop also. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, uh, do, let's test first uh, how loud is our background music. Okay, I suggest also do or control the volume from this YouTube itself and not from here. As I mentioned earlier, it will affect the volume of your microphone. It's uh, somewhere there. Okay, let's uh, check. Okay, maybe let's set it to 50%. Okay, somewhere there. Okay, let's play it again. Okay, I think that should be good. And now because we will be doing uh, some singing, Let's change the mode to hall. Okay, there you go. Sound check testing one, two. Okay, let's maybe turn it up a bit more. Sound check testing one, two again. If you want your mic more louder, just uh, tap that one. Okay, sound check testing one, two, one, two, three, four. Sound. Okay, let's uh, open that again. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's uh, give it a sample this time. Okay, and by the way, the treble, let me check again where we're at. Okay, now the treble, I had set it to maybe just the third level. Okay, again, uh, feel free to lower it if you don't want lots of treble, as well as um, reverberation. So there you go, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, maybe let's set it as, as that one. Okay, let me give you a short sample. 
Close your eyes and think of me And soon I will be there To brighten up even your darkest Let's uh, pause it now. Okay, and this time, let me give you a sample using the background music from this iPad this time. Okay, let's play it again. Let's check how loud is our background music. Okay, I think that should be okay. Okay, let's uh, give it a sample. Okay, let's play this one here. You just call out my name And you know wherever I am Okay, let's pause it now. So there you go. That's how simple it is. This time, let's uh, connect the background music to this uh, sound card using Bluetooth. So what we'll do, let's remove this uh, uh, cord now. And to connect them using Bluetooth is very simple. Uh, simply open the Bluetooth uh, settings of that device. So let's uh, go to settings and then go to uh, go to Bluetooth. Okay, so the Bluetooth is right here. Just uh, open it, make sure it's turned on, and this time uh, the V300 uh, sound card should be on this list. So it's right there and it says connected. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the YouTube song that we were playing. Okay, there it is, and let's uh, check again the uh, the sound, how loud it is, because once you change it to a Bluetooth connection and with using this cord, the audio output could be different. Okay, let's play it first and let's check how loud it is. Okay, so again, if you want the louder or lower, uh, simply control the volume from this uh, iPad. So something like that. Okay, let's play it again. Okay, so let's say you're good with that. Uh, let me give you another sample. And I'll be there, yes I will. You've got a friend. Okay, there you go. And that's how simple it is if you connect your background music using a Bluetooth. Okay, so this time, let me show you if you can use uh, both of them at the same time. Let's say, for example, you are using different uh, background music on here and different song on here, if you can use them interchangeably. Let's say, for example, you're done with, with the background music on here and you want to pick another song and you prepared it on this one. Okay, let's say, for example, let's play this one here. Okay, there you go. So you sing and sing and then you're done and now you want to use this one here. Let's play it from here. There you go. So uh, what I'm trying to so what I'm trying to point is that if you prepare a song from here and you prepared another song from here, it is uh, possible if you if you want, you can actually play them both at the same time, which is maybe not very common to use or to do, but if you uh, for some reason, you wanted to play both from here and there, it is possible. So let's do that. Okay, let's play that here and let's play this one here. There you go. So okay, let's uh, pause it right away because it doesn't sound good. But again, if uh, for some reason you prepare uh, something or an audio from here and then from here, you can play them both or at the same time as I showed you. Okay, and uh, by the way, for those uh, hissing or buzzing sound, what I notice uh, sometimes it depends on the connection. So as you can see, if I'm going to uh, hold this microphone, it causes a buzzing sound. So there you go. So as you can see from here, if I'm going to touch the microphone from here, so you will hear the buzzing sound. So that could be one of causes of buzzing sound. I, uh, I've uh, read some uh, comments uh, causes a buzzing sound. It, this could be one of, of the one causes it. So as you can see, I'm going to hold it from here. There you go. So you will hear that buzzing sound right now. But if I'm going to, let's say I'm not touching it right now because I'm using this uh, arm here. Okay, so what I do, if you don't have this uh, arm right here, uh, I suggest hold it from the bottom. So right there. So there is no buzzing sound if you hold it from here. But again, if you hold it from here, 
So there you go. You will hear that buzzing sound. So hold it from here instead, if that is what's happening in your uh, setup. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of videos, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of video, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.